The Perry family were living in a flat in this large block. Mum and Dad, Anne, Wendy and Glenn. They're off for a drive to look at houses, to find one they all like. Anne's always first in the car. She was so excited and she loved to daydream about things she'd always wanted. A house of their own would mean a garden of their own. And in that garden, Anne could just picture the doll's house she'd always wanted. I hope that dream comes true, Anne. Mr. Perry said, I'll stop when we come to a house we all like. Keep your eyes open now. Let's get out and have a closer look at this one. It isn't for sale, it's been built especially for people like ourselves to look at. The man in charge came to meet them. He said they could look around the house to see if it was what they wanted. It had a large sitting room and kitchen and three bedrooms. But there's one other thing Mr. Perry wanted. A quiet corner to do some reading. He was a bit of a daydreamer, just like Anne. With just a few changes, this house is exactly what they'd like. But where will they build their house? They'll need an empty block of land. Have they found one? What do you think that sign said? Yes, this land is for sale. It's good land, high and dry. And there are shops and a school not far away. Look, says Mr. Perry, we'd see this nice view from our front windows. The builder is working from the architect's plan doing exactly what it shows. He's marking out where the house is to be started. And now this machine can follow the builder's markings. It seems strange to be digging out the earth like this. I wonder if you know why these trenches are being dug. That's concrete pouring into the trenches. Now who guessed? When the concrete sets hard, 
there will be something firm and strong for the walls to stand on. Now, what's happening here? Bricks for the house. Who is this? Ah, the bricklayer. That string helps him to keep the bricks in a straight line. See how the bricks are specially laid and stuck together with mortar? Different work going on over here. These holes must be dug before any real building starts. They will hold these stumps. They're like good strong legs for the rooms to stand on. All this work under the house has taken many days to do. Look what the carpenter has made from wood. The frame of the Perry's house. Ah, Mr Perry and Glenn have come to see what's been happening. Our very own house, Glenn is thinking. Now we can see the shape of the house. The carpenter nails it together. Here are the roof beams.
Making the frame and putting it together takes quite a long time. Now watch for the plumbers. They're going to put up something to carry the rainwater off from the roof when it rains. Now who's this carrying wires? Yes, the electrician. These wires will carry electricity for lights and all the other switches. And there goes the tiler. What is the tiler's job? We're finding out now, aren't we? The tiler is laying the roof tiles. They have to fit together perfectly to keep out the rain. This is inside, under the tiles. The tiler is wiring them firmly so the wind won't blow them off. Who's this coming to have a look? The Perrys, of course. That was a kind thought, Anne. Tiling is a hard job. Anne's mother thinks so too. Lunch time for some of the workers. And the family have brought their lunch for a picnic. Isn't the house coming on well, they all said. Time for the floorboards to go in now. These floorboards must fit together properly so that the floors can take heavy wear. The bricklayer is back on his job. The outside of the house looks nearly finished. What about the inside? I told you we'd meet the builder again. He's in charge of everything. Remember? Yes, everything looks all right. He says to the Perrys, it's coming on well. Soon the rooms will have their finishing touches. Can you imagine what they'll look like?